What is up, y'all? I got another suggestion from you guys. I want to see you tie up a salmon fly from Dylan Duncan. Well, Dylan, let's make it happen. Don't forget, all this month, comment down below any idea for a fly you want me to tie. I'll tie it up for you, and then you are entered in a drawing to win all the flies that I've tied this month. All right, salmon fly. Never tied one of these, so let's get into it. Go ahead and start your thread on your hook. The tail is going to be two brown goose biots. And the hook, uh, size-wise, just a normal like salmon steelhead hook or a super large nymph hook. I don't have the size that I used. Um, but basically, if you know what the fly looks like, just match the size of the fly you're going for. So two brown goose biots for the tail and then wrap them all the way up no need to trim the ends just wrap it all the way up add a little more body to the fly which is what we're going to do next with dubbing good and dub your body on there brown dubbing pretty much any brown dubbing darker the better probably but uh you could get away with any brown would be just fine now I'm taking orange and I'm not going to do touching wraps. I'm going to do wider wraps. You don't want it all orange, just a little bit. And you're going to cover this up a little bit more with brown later anyways. Just kind of just add some orange uh, accents, which you'll see in the end. I'll post a actual picture of, of a salmon fly. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Is that. step is going to be legs I'm using brown rubber legs like so and then also in this video I'm doing a little something different with the editing I'm speeding up certain parts of the video certain steps uh, I'm trying to make these a little shorter I know they kind of get repetitive and and uh, if I can make them a little shorter, I figured you guys would appreciate that. But let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Should I go back to just a normal speed, or do you guys like it when I speed it up a little bit, uh, make it go by a little faster? Um, let me know. So, uh, something I've never seen done that I'm doing here I got a straw that I cut long ways all the way down, and I kind of made a tool to where I can keep the uh, legs out of my way. So, I've never seen it done. So hopefully this is a, an original design by me, but uh, if not, it's fine. It just, it worked for me. And if, if you've never seen it done as well, go ahead and give it a shot because it works pretty well. Right. Next step, we're going to throw on the eyes, just like the dragonfly larva or dragonfly the nymph that I tied in the last video. These eyes are a little big, but they will work just fine. Uh, you just need to go get some smaller nymph eyes, but go ahead and secure those on there. I like to do some figure eight wraps. It makes it nice and tight, gets it even on the hook. And then once I get it where I want it that way, I'll add some tight wraps up next to it. So next step, I got a large hackle and I'm gonna strip off all the fibers. I just want the quill. This is gonna be for the antenna or antennae of the salmon fly. So strip off everything and then go ahead and Trim off the edges to make it even and attach it to the head. Now don't do like I do here and drop it because these are really hard to find in the carpet. So <laughs> it's all right if you do, uh, just do, do some other ones, make some more. Think where'd they go? Just grab another hackle and strip off all the fibers. Do it again, it's a pretty quick process. So. Especially when you fast forward it like that, man. <laughs> but go ahead and attach it on there. It's a lot easier if you have this little tool, this little straw, straw piece. Look at that. Legs are out of the way. So much easier. But get it to the right length and secure it on there right behind the eyes. Trim it up nice. Perfect. Looks good. So I'm doing a whip finish on here just to secure it a little better. Now if my thread goes crazy, then it's uh I don't have to restart it. So next you're gonna add orange thread. This is gonna add some of the 
signature features of the salmon fly and I like I said I will post a picture so you can see that what I'm talking about in the end um, pretty cool fly but more dubbing this is going to be for the head so you're going to wrap around the eyes alternating wraps and then you're going to add a little more to cover up the thread for where the legs were tied in. Now you could probably get away with just using orange thread the whole time, but I've got more black thread than I do any other color, so figure thread that's going to be hidden anyways, you can just use whatever color you want. So a little more dubbing, and then legs are getting in the way, let's go ahead and put that back on there. And look at that. Look how much nicer, look how much easier it is to, to dub a fly when those legs are out of the way. I'm bragging about it, but you know, I didn't come up with it. I know I didn't. There's no way. <laughs> no way. They probably make a tool that you can buy at fly tying, you know, stores. But whatever. Give me my moment. <laughs> but a little more dubbing. Get the legs. Make sure you're adjusting the legs where they need to be and then you're dubbing next to them it's a lot easier to do it now than to try to pull them later and take the risk of maybe pulling one out or snapping one off so uh more orange dubbing closer up to the eyes And then the next step is gonna be the wings. Now there's a lot of different materials that you can use to make wings. Uh, I'm using mallard flank feathers, I believe is what I'm using. Could be wrong. But uh, pretty much anything that looks like a wing can be used as a wing. So don't be afraid to try out different materials, different feathers, and see what you like best. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I've never tied one of these before, so I was just kind of looking for something that looked like what I was looking to use. So found these, and they worked pretty cool, pretty good. So lay them on there one at a time is the easiest way to go. That way you can get them set to where you want them, uh, and then secure them on there. Whip finish. Be careful not to get the legs of the antenna in there. You want a nice clean whip finish. I always do two. And then you can trim off that thread. You're done with that. The fly's basically done. Just gotta give it a haircut or a, a wing cut, rather. Uh, trim those wings to the same length as the fly and then trim off any of the parts that are sticking up that just don't look right. And there you go, salmon fly. So here's a picture of an actual salmon fly. You can see the orange I was talking about. So that's what I was going for. Right, that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you guys for checking in with me. Make sure if you're not already, you subscribe to this channel, like my videos, comment down below, share them with your friends and family, and we'll catch you on the next one. Appreciate you guys, and until next time, you guys take it easy.